What is up, everybody? In this video, we're going to be no hitting Elden Ring with all of the items randomized. So, this means we're going to have to scavenge the world looking to set up the best build we can with what we get. The one thing we're not going to be randomizing are the key progression items like the great runes and medallions. But if you think a run with full randomization would be cool, let me know in the comments. Square off is honestly really good on this fight. But before we get into that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Factor. Factor is a fresh meal delivery service that makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever. They deliver fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. I like to cook a lot, but sometimes I just don't have time to make quality meals between streaming, watching hockey, and working out. When the package arrives at your door, it'll come in this nice little insulated box with ice packs, which keeps it nice and fresh for hours in case you aren't home or can't get to it right away. Factor is the perfect option. Skip the meal planning, grocery shopping, and prepping with ready-to-go meals that are perfect in just a few minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Factor isn't just for dinners though. You can add a quick breakfast, snacks, or even smoothies. Simply choose from their menu and enjoy fresh, flavorful meals delivered straight to your door. Make sure you head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code GINOMACHINO50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com and code GINOMACHINO50 to get 50% off. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring today's video. And now, back to the run. Okay, we have Unseen Form, <laughs> so I guess we're going to start with that. Uh, we will start with the Cracked Pots as well. But yeah, I did do this run in Dark Souls 3 as well. Did we kill the Scion? I don't really want to die right away, but I, I kind of want to refresh on his moveset a bit. Okay, this light is actually really annoying. I practice this moveset uh, for the randomizer. So I should know it decently well, at least. There we go. Life revolves around watching me and going to university lectures. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think going going back to that level one randomizer all bosses deathless run like that that's something I'll probably go back to at some point. Even though it's a pr that, like that's a tough run, dude. So for for almost every single boss, I should be able to just win, no, like no matter what our build is. We have done the master run, right? But there is Gideon, right? There's Gideon and there's Godskin Duo. I do no death room when my screen is upside down. I'm not going to do that. I I prefer doing runs in these games that challenge my my skill at the game rather than external things, you know? So so what I mean by that is do I, I'm not into doing like one-handed controller runs and, you know, like dance pad runs or upside down runs and stuff like that. I'm just I'm not into doing that sort of thing cuz it's a different type of challenge but you're not really getting better at the game in order to do it. I'd like to just get better at the game. Uh, so let's go collect some items, I guess. Number four. Oh, there's a lily here. There's, so that's one. We want ideally three of those. If it's not no hit slash no death, it's not a really good challenge. It's a, Yeah, it's a different type. I, I don't mind doing non-reset runs sometimes. Okay, we have, we have, dude. Shall we use the power of square off on this run? I think so, dude. Yeah, I would love to go square off on this whole run. It's so good. It's like, it's insane how good it is, actually. This will make up for that run. So I did a run a year ago, no hit with the cane sword, and I forgot to highlight it on Twitch. So I think it's the second weakest straight sword by a significant margin. And it still made the run so, like, it was so fucking easy. It was insane, dude, with a bad straight sword. And so long sword's a decent one, right? I think we're going to kill the Knight's Cavalry, I, I think, on this one. I don't have any cuckries, I just realized. Um, we probably should go to weeping on this run. I mean, I'm going to buy that. Pretty huge. 
Yeah, Black Knight Farmer makes you silent, and so with Unseen Form, I basically have Assassin's Gambit now. Yeah, what would be cool, though, what I, what I did in DS3, and sure, the, this game's different because it's so much bigger, but what I used to do in DS3 is on the Runner Quest, once I got any percent, I would just continue on past that. But it would be cool to do that, but for all bosses, you know? Like, you know, you know hit all, all Remembrances or something, and then and you just go straight to all bosses, and you try to, <laughs> to no-hit all bosses with a certain weapon. But yeah, on, honestly, I'm War Dead Catacomb, dude, is doing that melee only. I'm not not sure how that's done. Dude, fuck you. I actually took a swing at me right there. Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> uh, uh, that was something you do on the randomizer. You try to run behind that enemy, but... I actually almost died. Nice. I really want to go with square off, but we have so many somber stones, dude. Wow, that's pretty lucky. So we have at least a plus nine now. Okay, this is the place where we get those mushrooms, surely. I don't I don't know if that's totally true, but there's those toxic mushrooms. There we go. We're, so we're set for Gideon. And I should be able to farm those. Okay. Keep going. I, I really want to go with the uh, straight sword setup, you guys. Straight swords are very underrated, I think. Uh, They're both really good. So, like, Square Off and Unsheath are both really good. But yeah, if you're going to do all bosses and you're just trying to look for something to carry you through the bosses, Unsheath is probably better because it can stun lock a lot of the minor enemies. But it doesn't deal 40 poise damage. So And 40 poise damage, what that means is a boss like this guy who's got 120 po poise, if I hit him in the head twice, he gets stunned. Whereas Unchi that takes three hits. So, you know, that one hit is a big difference. I think zone seven. Oh, Confessor Hood. Best hood. Oh. Weirdo. All right, so far so good. We got most of the stuff that we need. I didn't see. Did we get a bell bearing there? I, I have not been paying attention at all. There's a som somber bell bearing. Spiked. And I'm not really planning to go with the charge attack build here, though. Okay, is that every merchant? That is reasonable to get. I think so. All right, let's go see what we've got. We haven't actually even been to round table yet. Uh, do we have a plus? What is our somber situation here? One, two, one, two, three, four. We have a five, I thought. Let's look through these. See, with the with the green screen fully activated, you guys can actually see all the items in the shops. We have a smithing seven. We haven't we haven't had good luck on upgrade materials on this. We might have to go a somber weapon on this, dude. I, I don't want to though. I want to go with the <laughs> square off build. We have a somber nine as well, dude. Dang. Okay. I don't think we have a good somber weapon though. We got nothing, dude. You know what we should do? We should go unlock Selen, I think. Surely, really not what I want. We also need some runes really badly. I'm gonna kill the Knight's Cavalry, I think. Here we go. Let's... Oh, I bought the wrong thing. <laughs> Shit, dude. Oh, and they were so expensive, too. I actually got scammed right there. I got scammed as badly as the people who bought the day before. That's a horrible scam. Surely I won't miss these. Yeah, maybe I said thanks already. I, I forget. Everybody knows I, I have, like... Horrible case of the streamer memory, dude. Everybody knows that. Should we kill the bell bearing hunter? I'm just, I'm kind of scared I'm going to mess it up. Especially since we just spent an hour. This is going to do it. Surely we'll not mess it up. Even though I have maybe, died doing this maybe. before. I'll give you the best nut ever. L underscore. L underscore. Nice. Beautifully executed. Okay, so we got sufficient runes now. It's so funny how quick, you know, like you just start the game and it's like, oh, I want 100k runes. Let's just get a plus nine and go kill Selen right now. Plus nine. So let's go to Pumpkin. What would be the best way? Probably from here. Probably. There still are a lot of graveyards that I haven't gone to, just because I don't really want to go to them unless I have to. There's a graveyard here, but there's some wolves around it. I do have Unseen Form, though, so maybe it's safe. Who the fuck are you guys? What 
the fuck is he doing? I don't think he saw me or something. What the fuck? Okay, buddy. Start doing your normal attacks now, please. I haven't seen this the the boss version ever do that. I think it's because that's the, what the the guy on the bridge does. He just goes crazy and starts slamming his head down. But holy, dude! I mean, <laughs> I can't go with this weapon. We just did a run with it, man. We that was literally the last no hit run I did was with this weapon. I can't go with this, dude. I can't. Even though it's for sure the best thing I've seen so far. Oh, that's so unfortunate, man. <laughs> it's such an insane weapon, too. Well, let's go kill Market. So, so we should probably, I think, just Dex and Strength on this guy. I we we don't really need that many stats yet. I just I want enough to actually one hand it. Yeah, we had too much damage to do the, like, square off loop on him. I'm gonna go collect some of these items here. Give me some smithing fours and fives, please. I've got a single one. Um, I don't have any way to aim. Need some cuckries, and I need to be able to aim these. I don't. I don't think I have a bow anywhere, do I? Come on, Gostock. I'll take this though, I guess. Hmm. We actually are. We're kind of in a an interesting position here, dude. Yeah, this guy never. Oh, he's he does have glintstone ice crag though. Okay, we can use that. The rare time where this guy actually has anything. Okay, uh, smithing five. The spell has better range than I remember it having, I think. Yeah, th this is the kind of the room where you need to have the range, I think. Okay, it's not insane range, but... Oh, shit, dude. I wonder if I can snipe him from over here. Oh, fuck you. And maybe that was a waste of cuckries, but... <laughs> Minus 3,000. True. Okay, now that's a somber weapon that I could use. Yeah, we might we might go with Alabaster Lord Sword, dude. That's a pretty good weapon. 
I'd still much rather go square off, though. I'm not going to lie. Wait. This guy saw me, or...? Okay, so we do actually have the physic tier that lets me roll fast no matter what. We have a I mean we have a build. It's it's a build. It is certainly a build. I could have done an uppercut there, actually, because I think he's only got 110 or 105 poise or something. I'm going to try to just... Frost him here. Jets. He's Frost. There it is. Goodbye, Godric. Well, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, people are wondering why I've explained it so many times, why I am not a huge fan and why I said I, I probably wasn't going to do the enemy plus item randomizer, no hit run, but like, it's, it's just a, it's a fun run to do, right? But I definitely, if I'm, if I'm going to take a run seriously, I much prefer doing runs that if I play perfectly, I'm going to win. It's not that it's not a skill-based run because it is for sure. I have like good boss knowledge and enemy placement knowledge and stuff to get that run. Yeah, I just don't like that. It's not. If you play perfectly, maybe, you're, maybe there's a very big chance you still lose, ever. right? I just, I, I don't like grinding that much for a run like that. All right, Godric's down. So, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Let's go take out Patches. That's another shop. I, I can't resist the urge to square off, dude. I, I really would like to use it the whole run here. Maybe. But yeah, yesterday I was doing a, a full randomizer attempt and it was a pretty good run. But then we got Elden Beast on Godfrey's or Goldfrey's Arena. And you basically just aren't winning that. If he does certain attacks, you just don't have enough space. I, I after after stream, I went back and I tested the fight a lot in that arena, and it's just most of the time I just died, and it wasn't even because I made a mistake. At least that I'm aware of. Oh, he inputs reads on. You can just square off him here. Probably better. But yeah, the thing is, there's there's a lot of other runs that I, I want to do, so I don't I don't really want to get stuck doing like one run for a significant amount of time. Oh boy, we got the moon veil here. <laughs> I'll just buy it because only. Oh, what do we do, man? The moon veil is pretty good. I if we can get the bell bearing, smithing stone bell bearing, then we could be in better shape. What I'm doing right now is not a good idea for a randomizer run to try to like force a build to happen when I could have just gotten Wing of Estelle and just blasted the game. Let's go kill the Tree Sentinel. Yeah, I just haven't been able to get my hands on the on enough smithing fours and fives. I just realized I don't have any Kukris for this. Maybe I'll just try to fight him instead. I guess I'll fight him. I should be able to win. Surely. Holy shit, that damage is bad.
I'm gonna have to drink at some point. Uh, Trower, thanks for the eight-month resub, dude. Um, so we still need some smithing stones. I, 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 like, I don't know what to do, man. I guess we could, we could definitely go check some graveyards. Is it, is it wolves that are here, or? Black Flame. Yeah, and then from there, smithing five. We could go underground. If I'm really, like, I really want to use Square Off, but, <laughs> but... You know, I'm, I'm adding a lot of risk by doing all this extra stuff. But yeah, we can go underground, I guess. Planning on doing God Run SO, uh, SO1? No, I'm not. Lots of items in here, but there's too many enemies. Okay, there's a sevens. There's an eight. Well, I can resist not looting them because I know if I try, I lose two hours. So that's how I can resist. Dude, we got the, we got the duo... Taker's cameo in the spirit thing. So I'm not 100% sure on this pathing, you guys. Like, I'm not 100% sure if it's safe, <laughs> the pathing I want to take. But we do have stealth, which does affect these guys. Okay, just a bunch of squids here. On, on randomizer, the section's kind of... Oh, boy. I should have dismounted, but I got, away, <laughs> I got away with it. Yeah, so clearly that wasn't uh, the most ideal pathing. I'm not. Maybe that's a scripted aggro. Yo, winged great horn. Is this a decent weapon? I've never tried it. I've only used it for the debuff. Of course, this guy literally has nothing. What is going on here? We just we cannot get the stuff we need here. It's crazy. I wonder if Elmer has the because there's not there's not really any other places where the smithing stone could be. This run is turning into an adventure, dude. Should we go kill Elmer, dude? But we're already two hours in, and it, like it's kind of risky to go do that. But actually, does anybody know? Does the Gelmir places count for Altus? Like, so could the, the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing be in, in Gelmir? Like, maybe it can. I'm gonna go check this golden seed here. Purple. Love wart. All of this because I really want to go and square off. Surely it's worth it though. Okay. So we're, we're looking for those white, tall items. That's what could be the smithing stones. Bro. Oh my god. How many fangs can I be getting? Uh, this is a problem? <laughs> oh boy. Like how did the how did the how did he not even aggro? I, I I'm pretty sure somebody's told me that it's hit them before. It just I've never gotten hit by it. There's no way. The game just keeps giving me this stuff. Well, we might as well uh, keep going. It's really looking like Elmer's got that spell bearing. Not too often I run through here on no hit. Just gonna collect the couple items here and I don't know. Let's go check out this one, because it could be here still. But I'm going to go see, and if we start getting launched at, then I'll probably just bail. I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Did anybody see what color the item was? Was it purple? Presumably, if I kill the enemy here, then they don't fire. There's the one up on the cliff there. That's no, I, I I know how to get there. We're gonna learn so much when when I do that full casual playthrough before the DLC comes out. I'm gonna learn a lot of stuff about the game during that, dude. Okay. Here we go. Please be it. There it is. Okay. So no Elmer. Luckily, I checked that first. It honestly doesn't change that much because now all it does is allow me to get to a plus 12. Actually, plus 13. Let's go check again if we have any fives. We only need one more five, you guys. <laughs> we only need one more. <laughs> okay, we have to look for a five. Where's their high density of items that I haven't checked yet? We haven't checked Muriel. 
I guess that's probably where I go next. We haven't checked Muriel, and there's still like some spell books that I haven't gotten and stuff. You are welcome. I am my opponent. Do you know how it can? Well, I, I don't know where to go, man. I guess there's two items in this place, and we have the beast torch, so. Where are all the fives? Cost sunk fallacy. <laughs> Cost sunk. It's sunk cost, I believe. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy. I'm gonna go buy the rest of the death roots because I think there's a few. We've got a lot of them. So we have. I didn't. Oh, it's Moog Shackle. God damn it, dude. <laughs> that would have actually been really nice. Oh, we do have another one. Holy shit, dude. We have so many. I'm just gonna go check these two items up here. What we could do, we could go kill Grail, right? That'll unlock another item. Fuck it, dude. Let's go do it. We're going full blown, full blown setup here. It's pretty quick at killing Grail. Yeah, that was pretty good, dude. It's almost, is that better than the flail? Wow, that, that was definitely faster than the flail. Okay, we get a bunch of runes from this, but more importantly, we get items and potentially another item, well, another item from the shop as well. <laughs> oh my god. I should have, why didn't I get this grace here? I should have. Let me just make sure... Imagine the whole time he had he had a he had a somber or uh, smithing five. I guess we can go kill Redan and just and see. No, Stormhawk is definitely not the best for randomizer. It's good for bingo, but it definitely drops off late later game. We just get to like forty, I guess. So I guess that means I'm committing to using at least a strength weapon here. Uh, should we go rot grease on it or frost? Maybe I'll go rot. No, it's not possible to do that, Fruit Seller. It, it, it randomizes with other collectible items on the ground. We do have Commander Standard as well, actually. I, have this, I do have the stats for it. Why did I do this, actually? Bro, missed so many hits in there. I think Rot was actually a good choice there. Um, I guess. Wait, I see. I see it now. Oh, okay. I actually did remember that was safe though. <laughs> Swamber two, of course. Just cannot find. <laughs> I'm smithing five to save my life right now. Plus fourteen wasn't terrible though. There, like when you consider that I have zero talismans that are actually increasing my damage here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we can go to the capital now. It is unreal how many of these somber stones I'm getting. It's just it's slap in the face, dude. <laughs> Please. This is it. <laughs> All right, so you guys are saying the uh, old whatever it is is maybe, good to check. Maybe. There's there's zero enemies in there, right? Sanctify wet blade. That's still the same, right? This uh, they're just they're, they don't exist in my game, dude. They're they're gone. 
zero fives exist in my game. This is it. Oh, I have a lot of runes, though. Oh, bro, you can't do this to me. So they're not in the first room. Prayer book. Yeah, there's nothing in there, though, right? Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was a little close. Oh, my God. You can't do this to me, dude. You actually can't. Um, well, maybe we should just go kill the boss. This run is an absolute adventure. I actually did go to Jofra, yeah. I didn't go to Angel River, though, because that's I think that's too dangerous. Tano, thanks for the 1,000 uh, bits, dude. Holy shit. Dude, the b insane. Uh, Blitano again, thanks for the uh, a thousand bits. Holy shit, dude. Alright, surely this will be fine. I'm gonna try to do the prevent phase two strat. The damage might be a little rough here. You know, I actually should have used the Starlight Shard probably last. I'm gonna do all these buffs, and I'm just gonna use another one. Welcome to Square Off Gaming. Doesn't even get to phase two because he literally cannot. All right, well, hopefully we can find something on the way to mountaintops or <laughs> whatever. Can I pick this up without aggro in this guy? Fuck. Well, we are literally just missing a five now for a plus 25. Well, the reason I was running is because this archer aggroed. I think I, he's got like a, a joint aggro with this other guy, so. I'm just going to range him. I'm too scared to get hit. I've absolutely gotten hit by this guy before. Oh! Dude, why was he disappearing, you fucking... Idiot. Oh, come on, dude. Are there really that few smithing fives in the game? Or are we just getting the most insane bad luck of all time? But yeah, now at this point, we could just find the bell bearing, right? So... And he was chasing me big time but there's oh yeah true the merchant oh that's right we got the merchant dude and okay, that should be our first stop then before i do anything crazy uh yeah there's the church well there's two churches and then 
Yeah, Fire Giant, I guess. 50-ish smithing fives in the game you can pick up. All right, time for the skip. Oh, how was that not first try right there? Yeah, we're, well, dude, we don't need to do this skip. It's not... <laughs> no, we don't have to do this skip. This skip is only for enemy randomizer, dude. I kind of forgot. I believe. I do not believe. Oh. Oh. Uh, I wonder how many of those I've missed, <laughs> you know? There's probably... I probably have come across a smithing stone five like that that I just didn't see. Come on, buddy. There's a bow here, though, I guess. Yeah, and that completes our somber setup <laughs> right there. Oh, yeah, for sure, Mike, dude. Yeah, we're going to find one, and it's going to be just a an avalanche of smithing fives after we find it. There's two churches, two golden golden seed trees, and then obviously Fire Giant and Commander Nile. So I think that's all the possible places that the Bell Baron could be. So unless we're unlucky, like the odds are we find it. This reminds me of when I did the all bosses deathless randomizer and I could not find a somber one. I just could not for the life of me find a somber one until I was like 60 bosses in or something. Or maybe it wasn't a one. Well, that's two of the checks done. That is not the bell bearing. The Beast Torch is so good. It's it's actually insane how good it is. Because even, even the T-Rex dogs don't, like they can't go after you if you got the Beast Torch going. Except for uh, maybe the red eye ones or something can, but most of them can't. This is the longest any percent of all time. Yeah, we're getting into hob any percent territory. And this, you know what? If I just went with the wing of Estelle, this run ended would have ended up being sub two hours easily. But that's no fun, dude. We just did a wing of Estelle no hit run. Okay, so church and golden sea tree. Two more chances. I will be so annoyed. <laughs> Purple. Yes, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> now to get smoked by fire giant. Oh my. There it is. We we just needed one five and that was it. <laughs> you can get the green burst actually. It's it's pretty good. There it is. Plus twenty-five square off. We are so rich, it's insane. Did we go 40-40? Or they're pretty similar. Looks like 61 is the best I can get here. I will save a couple though, just in case I need to buy something. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how this fight is gonna go. Is our our damage is still it's not fantastic right it's not great but we are plus 25 though so that's pretty good okay so the game plan is what stagger them and then sleep them and then build up poise damage for phase two and then rot him i guess Yeah, certainly not amazing damage. In fact, this strat isn't really going to work because we don't have enough damage. Whoops. Holy shit, this is bad. <laughs> Should have tried to stun him again. Oh! Power square off. So I'm going to let him roll. Oh, wow. He's on a terrible terrain. Too bad I didn't connect that.
I also didn't get the rot. Maybe uh, what I should have done, I should have slept him right there. I was just, what I was thinking there is that the hits on the eye would deal like the extra buildup and then I would get him. But yeah, that's why like this Ash of War, it, that's what, what, why it's so good, right? Because it doesn't, it doesn't actually deal that much damage, but it, it just stuns like a fucking crazy person, dude. Oh, seriously? <laughs> okay, well, hopefully I have enough. I, I should have enough sleep, I think. Yeah, that wasn't uh, perfectly executed. I'm actually a little bit worried about God's Can Duo now, man. Our damage is really low. What we could do is just pick up the Alabaster Lord Sword, <laughs> you know, and just use that for Godskin. Because that, that would almost for sure be better DPS than this. Yeah, we do have Bleed Grease. That's true. Should we should we upgrade this thing? We only need, we, we actually don't even need to invest any more stats. We could get 18 in for an, a little bit of extra damage, but we could just get a plus 10 Alabaster Lord Sword. And we, yeah, we do have the spiked tier, right? So we actually have a buff to put on top of it. Yeah, we can, we can go do it. I mean... I've already accomplished what I wanted, which was get a plus 25 longsword. And we, dude, actually, you know what? We have the winged great horn. I forgot about that. That's huge on, on that boss. Yeah, that'll make up for, yeah, that'll make up for a lot of missing damage. I'm going to want to swap this one, I think. I guess that's a talisman I can use. Oh, true. I, yeah, I can use an Exalted Flesh. Yeah, that, I'm, I mean, maybe this will be a one cycle. All right, surely I'll use all the buffs correctly. Okay, so let's start by doing the Winged Great Horn. Then I'll use this one. I'll use this one. Holy, holy shit. That was a lot of damage. Oh my God, we're one cycling him. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't one cycle him. <laughs> That's the winged great horn, I guess, right there. Oh, of course we get the fucking apostle too. Should be able to finish it here. I wonder if I got a double hit, which killed them. Because I, I don't think the other hit would have killed them there. <laughs> that was really risky, actually. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Holy smokes, dude. And and also, did you guys notice the stamina consumption? That's part of what makes Alabaster Lord Sword so good. Is that the uh, the stamina consumption on the Charger 2s, I think it's just a mistake. And like some somebody put the wrong number in on the stamina consumption, but it is lower than I, I don't know, dude. It's it's lower than probably any other charge R2 in the game. Okay, so on this skip, we've got we've got stealth, so we should be fine. Let me get some more stamina, because we're our, our base stats are already good, so. Yeah, I'll probably go longsword here. I didn't do this buff. Fuck. That's not the weapon I want to use. Here we go.
Hopefully this repose doesn't do too much damage. Okay, we're good. Get a stun here. You know what I probably could have done that I didn't think about is I probably could have when I reposted them there on the wake up I I probably could have stun locked them with this I, I don't know if I've ever tried that actually maybe it's a bit slow but with flame of the red mains what you used to be able to do is you would repost them instantly do flame of the red mains twice and you just stagger lock them square off probably gets pretty close to doing that you know what we probably could kill him with the alabaster lord sword here since we have soul stifler but I'm just not gonna mess around Oh shit, look at the... You know what? I guess his um, his resistances are going to be slightly changed here. I didn't really think about that. Looks like I still proc him in one though. Got like the Slave Knight Gale hood on, I think. This kind of does look like the DS2 starting fashion a bit, yeah. I mean, I, from the back, at least. Got the cape. So is this going to take two now? Did I not get him with that? Where's the rot done? I can't tell. Shouldn't matter either way. Got four rot pots left. Surely this will be enough, right? This would actually be so bad if it wasn't. It has to be enough, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be enough. There we go. Why did they make him have to talk for so long? Think about all the valuable things I could be doing. I wonder how, I wonder how many how many minutes I've lost because of that in my life. Probably a lot, actually. Okay, so on this fight, yeah, I'll use an exalted flesh too. I think. And actually, you know what? Maybe I should just save that for the next boss. My game crashing, bro. Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I got to alt that four, I guess. Surely, uh, my save is fine. <laughs> Last save before Gideon. Could you imagine, dude? Oh my god, it actually... It actually did use my physic. <laughs> That's so dumb. Nice scam, dude. Nice one. Fucking idiot, dude. Really, his poison didn't reset.
Nice. Do I just go more endurance or? This commander standard buff is not gonna last for a long time here. I'm gonna get like the first couple hits with it and then that's it. Cause it, it only lasts 30 seconds soon. There's no way I have time to get all this stuff off. Close. Actually, I heard the sound, but... Oh, my repost got... Got scammed in my repost, dude. I kind of wanted to stun him out of Elden Stars, but... And he must be like barely 50 HP. We're gonna go straight side here. Should be able to get a stun pretty quickly here. So stun. Imagine getting trolled by the fucking wall right there, dude. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, maybe not the most uh, astounding build. Bro. Is this a fucking joke? That actually has to be a joke, right? <laughs> like, that has to be a joke. We spent literally at least two and a half, two and a half hours finding a smithing stone five on this run. <laughs> yeah, somebody somebody did actually call it. Yeah, they're like yeah, smithing five after Elden Beast. Uh, well, I guess let's continue on to more bosses. I, I I guess. Yeah, that was that was first try though on that run, which isn't really super surprising. I've done any percent a lot at this point. So, do we have any bewitching branches? Wow, double somber nine, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, so so if I end up getting hit here, then we're just like we got the ending percent. That was the goal. So, oh, we actually do have. Nice, we actually do have them. All right, let's go straight to. We're gonna go straight to Millennia because that's where I'm most likely to die. So, we're gonna head straight there. Not any percent until I trigger the ending. I, I guess that's true. I could have done the ending. Oh well, we we finished any percent. I'm gonna just continue on, and see how far we can get. What would be nice now. Our main focus now is getting good good talismans because that's that's really what we're missing out on.
we should have tried to put a grease on this. drink at some point. Last in pouch into the belt? Like, belt as in here? Nah, you should be sorry, because that's just totally wrong. <laughs> no, pouch is way better. And the reason is that when you're trying to look for a heal, um, yeah, when you need to heal or drink something, like, uh, the essential items that I constantly use, I put here. By Albus. At the end of the day, though, it, it like, it doesn't really matter. It's just... I would, I would argue that it is objectively better to put the heals in the pouch or anything that you need to use without having the chance of fumbling it, right? Because that, that, that is what happens, where you're trying to heal and you're trying to cycle through your items, but you accidentally use the wrong item and then you fucking die or get locked into some, you know, throwing animation or use some item you didn't mean to use, right? I'm sure that's happened to literally every single person here. It is actually an interesting thing, though. I, I, I never really thought that much about the pouch, but the pouch is insanely good, dude. Yeah, I gotta find that. Somebody else left a comment on my Kukri pronunciation. And I, I, we gotta add that to the command, dude. What a... <laughs> I, I feel like only in this stream could we have a conversation on something so inconsequential, yet I can talk for 20 minutes about <laughs> why it's better. Literally the most minuscule thing ever. It just has no impact on almost anybody. Yeah, keyboard and mouse is, isn't worse. How did that guy aggro? Do I have Kukri's anywhere? Because I kind of need some. We're insanely rich. Not really sure so much about DS2 either, mouse keyboard. Not really much of a reason to, that I've ever had to use mouse keyboard in that game. Uh, maybe I should have used the Grease here. I'm just try some bleed, I guess. Oh, wow, that was... I realized right as I did that, that that was not fast enough. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, I got pretty lucky there, dude. I will not allow this. Love square off, dude. Drawstring grease in PvE. Yeah, I, I've never... I've actually never used a drawstring grease in PvE before. Is there anywhere where you can buy drawstring grease? Or do you have to craft it all? You can't. Yeah, I can't think of any. That's, that's so garbage, dude. Alright, surely I won't die here, you guys. I'm gonna use a frost grease, I guess. One thing that's really good with Square Off is the Assassin Cerulean Dagger Talisman. Because you get so many stuns. And... Um... A Straight Sword can stun her out of that, right?
I imagine me thinking that was going to be fast enough. I wonder if that uppercut's actually safe there. Because it seems like it is. I could probably do a, a square off on that, actually. Maybe not. I'm just a little scared she's going to... I'm dead. What? Like, what am I doing, dude? I'm just not focusing at all. Like that, I think that's what's hard about Millennia on these runs is that, like, I, I don't know the punishes for sure. And so I need to think about it, right? And then since I need to start thinking about it, I end up, like, just making a mistake because I'm, I'm trying to be like, okay, is this safe here? Or uh, every, literally every single time, that's, <laughs> that's what ends up happening. That is why I came here first, though. I guess I could use the Alabaster Lord Sword here. That probably would have been more what I'm used to. I guess, but Square Off is honestly really good on this fight. Yeah, I was just trying to I was just trying to think of whether it's safe to do a, a square off on the fucking on the flower move. Or the the rot explosion one. Yeah, so, uh, like, I should have been able... I should be able to no-hit all great runes every time, dude. I really should. also not doing the attack that I wanted to like see. Yeah, 
Yeah, what, what ended up happening in there was, yeah, I just, I wasn't being like, I wasn't fully focused on, like, what I had to be focused on. And, uh, she did, yeah, she did waterfowl, but I was in, I was in complete no man's land, right? I was at that range where you're too close to run away, and you're too far to go in close, so you just simply die, basically. Yeah, she's such, a, like, she's such an easy boss with this weapon, too. It's, it's so, like, it's so dumb, dude. It's very dumb that I died there. We can maybe just, like, finish off the bosses, but there's not really much of a point. Yeah, at least we got the 80%. Could have been cool to get all great runes, though, but... Maybe another time. We we might just... I, I might just go fight Moog, and then, uh... Well, let's now hit Moog, and we'll call it a day. What I actually said I was going to do on the on the next viewer request, that's an any percent, I was going to practice Millennia with the weapon first. Just so that if we do make it to that point in the run... I'm, I'm not going to have to think about what the punishes are on her. I could just go in and... We actually had the Moog, Moog Shackle on this run, but... I didn't end up buying it. Yo, where's my fucking stun, bro? Well, Seamless... I don't think Seamless is going to be that good. Right? Because... Then... Like, it's going to be harder to get everybody a turn on Seamless, I think. This actually would have been a really tough Moog fight. maybe bro after I missed that repost I just got totally Oh, oh, yeah, I, gu I guess I forgot that Seamless has, like, an insane player limit now. Anyways, this was a fun run. At least we got the run. It just, it is, you know, it would have been nice to get all great runes, which I could have, if I no hit Millennia, I for sure would have done it. But I just, I gotta, it's, it's not even that I got hit directly because of the weapon I was using there. You know, it's not like I went for a punish that wasn't safe. It's just, I wasn't fully focused on, on what I needed to be focused on. And I started, yeah, and I just, I ended up, you know making a mistake on positioning so so yeah but anyways that was a good run dude very clean it was hilarious that we got a smithing five for elden beast that is just insane hopefully when hunter edits this video he puts whoever chatted that like two hours ago or three hours ago and like highlights that chat or something because <laughs> that'd be funny dude but yeah this is probably the extent of randomizer that i'll do for a little bit uh but yeah the reason i stopped with the enemy for now like i might do it for fun eventually but i don't think it's a run i'll ever grind as, a, as, a, as I've explained a hundred times, probably, I just, I don't like doing runs where if I play perfectly, I can still lose. It is good content. That's, that's true. It, it, a lot of people like the randomizer runs a lot. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out uh, today, you guys.